Hey all you freedom forgers, welcome to the Forging Freedom podcast channel. Five plants that you can grow to attract ladybugs. Just a little explanation before we get started. This episode was originally a YouTube live that was an hour and a half long. And so what we've done is edited this down and made it much shorter for you guys. We took out all the chat comments, the tech difficulty that we were having, some great but unrelated content, and just boiled it down to the meat for you guys. So just a quick note, if you want to listen to the full episode of this, you can do that at forgingfreedompodcast.com. But without further ado, let's get going. When I first heard about ladybugs and that they could help your your garden out, I went and I I think I was at Home Depot and I bought some ladybugs, a, a big package of them, and it says, you know, turn them loose at night and when it's cool, um, you know, and within, I don't know, three or four days, all the ladybugs were just gone and, and they weren't around. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's crazy. That seems like that was a waste of money. <laughs> so I, um, started doing some research on, you know, what type of habitat do ladybugs like to live in? And what I found out is that they like to live in certain kind of plants. Ladybugs have predators too. So there's different kinds of birds like martins and swallows and swifts and crows that will eat ladybugs. And so they need some kind of habitat to hide in. They're also eaten by dragonflies and assassin bugs and parasitic wasps and ants, certain kinds of ants, tree frogs. And they can also get taken down by parasites, uh, fungus, and mites. So what type of plant is it that they like to live in? They like to live in what's called an umbral type of plant. So umbral as in umbrella. So it's an umbrella type of plant that they like to live in. And so we're going to talk about five of those plants tonight that are um, easy to grow. Now let me just show you this picture here. This is a larval stage ladybug. So you may have seen these around your garden and they look so ugly that you would probably think that maybe that's a bad bug, but that's actually a really good bug. So you don't want to kill those if you see them. Okay, so the first plant that we're going to talk about is carrots. And I'm not talking about you know, putting carrot seeds in the ground and growing carrots. What I'm talking about is going either in your root cellar if you have one or going to the store and just buying some, a bag of carrots. And purposely look for the ones that have, um, you know, a little bit of green coming out the end of it. And then just go in your garden, take your spade, dig a hole, and just jam the whole carrot in there. And what will happen, and you'll be amazed at how fast this happens, what will happen is the green will start growing and it will start growing into uh, the second year of what a carrot does, which is to put on seed. And it will look something like this. Now you can see on the left hand side, you see the actual flower that comes up from a carrot. And then after that flower dies back, you see that it um, kind of has this cluster, all these little seeds inside. I don't know if you can see the individual seeds but they're they're in there and they look a lot like a dill seed so that is the first plant that you can plant and it's like super easy to to do right it's just like you can go do it tomorrow and what I would do is I would you know um, jam six or seven carrots around plants that you know the aphids like I always find them on my um, oh, my Brussels sprouts, uh, cabbage, broccoli, uh, those type of things. All the crucifer vegetables I find them on. And uh, they always get on my peppers. And so uh, sometimes I see them on my basil. So anywhere where you have an aphid problem, you can jam some of those in the ground and have like just in a few weeks, it'll start growing and the ladybugs will, you know, be attracted to that. The second plant is cilantro. And one of the things that I always hear from people when they plant cilantro is they don't like to plant it because it goes, uh, it bolts so quickly when the heat comes. But this is actually good for you. And cilantro seed is um, nothing more than coriander seed. So you could probably just go to the store and buy a spice bottle of, of whole coriander. 
and plant that, it may be cheaper than buying a package of seeds. But it puts on a massive amount of seeds, and it, again, is an uh, umbrella, umbrella style, style um, flower. And it looks like this. You can see off to the left there, that's what it starts to look like when it bolts. It grow, grows that heavy stem. And then it kind of gets that umbrella shape to it. And this one's a little farther down the road. It actually has the seeds. Uh, you can see the green coriander there. And I love fresh coriander. Um, uh, cilantro seeds or coriander. But anyway, I love fresh coriander because it tastes a little bit like lime. Um, it's fun to put that um, in a little bit of blend it up and strain it and then put pour a little bit of lemonade through it and have it in your lemonade. Um, just there's lots of different things that could use a little bit of lime taste. You can put it on fish. And um, so that's another really good one. All right. So on to number three. The third plant, and you probably guessed this, is dill. It has a nice umbrella shaped um, flower when it grows. And it's just, you can just never have enough dill, right? I mean, I, I use it so many things. I use it on fish and uh, making pickles and, and different things like that, making sauerkraut. I like to put a little bit in my sauerkraut when I make that. And so dill, if you if you find a good spot to plant your dill and you let a little bit of it go to seed every year, you should have dill, you know, pretty much forever. Um, it's one of my favorite, favorite herbs. All right, and um, the fourth one is a plant that I have not grown but I've seen it other places and it sounds delightful and it's beautiful. It's called status or status or it's also called sea lavender. Isn't that a beautiful plant? But That's one of the top plants apparently that ladybugs like and I'm looking forward to getting some of this and giving that a try. Okay, um, so let, we're, we're going to move along here to the next one. And this is one of my favorite plants. It's got so many uses. And fifth plant is yarrow. Now, this is a yellow yarrow. I have white yarrow that grows in my area. And it grows wild out in my field. And what I've done is it's very easy to propagate. In fact, if you propagate it somewhere, put it somewhere that you make sure you want it there. <laughs> because it has a tendency to spread. When I first learned about these plants, I was so excited about them. I thought, well, I've got yarrow. I can just go out and get some yarrow root and I'll replant it in my garden beds and um, I wouldn't say it was a horrible mistake but um, it was definitely a mistake because the the yarrow has these little runners uh, and it spreads you know by um, root um, it has these I don't, can't remember what they're called but they just run underneath the dirt and then the plants just pop up and so um, but you can put it in a pot and it just it's almost indestructible. It's a very like deserty kind of plant. It it does well on places where there's not a lot of water. So it, it's a good plant to put in a pot and you can just put the pots around your garden. And so that is yarrow. Okay guys, that is the five plants that you can use to attract ladybugs, but stay tuned for a bonus plant. Uh, but this time I just want to remind you that if you like this kind of thing, hit that subscribe button and uh, give us a thumbs up if we're doing a good job. Here we go. Bonus plant number six. Now let me tell you about, we're going to give you, I've, we've gone through five, but I'm going to give you a bonus plant. So this plant you're probably all familiar with and it's elderflower. You see over there to the right, you can see the elder flower. And then in the middle, you can see a stem with aphids, black aphids, all over it. So it probably won't be long before something comes along and the ladybugs um, live in that flower and start to devour the aphids. So there you go. There's five plants, actually six, that you can grow. And these plants have other beneficial uses, and I love it when you can, um, you know, plant a plant and it has multiple uses. There are five plants that um, attract ladybugs, and I hope you guys found that useful. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified of future episodes. And if you're really fed up with YouTube, leave us a great comment. 
and let us know how great the channel is and that you like us and just thumb your nose at YouTube. Have a super day. Bye-bye.